Hello everyone, I hope you guys are all doing well. Today we are going to be making paper airplanes. In fact, we are going to be making the most iconic of paper airplanes, the most classic one. Um, very fun, pretty simple. Uh, the reason we're making a paper airplane is because it involves so many good skills. So folding paper is hard for our kids. There are a lot of steps. Uh, it requires good fine motor skills. That's the coordination in our hands. It requires bilateral coordination skills. So it works on, uh, it challenges our hands to work together. Um, and following a step-by-step -step video also challenges our active listening skills as well as our sequencing skills. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So all you'll need for this craft is just a piece of paper. It can be any, any type, construction paper, printer paper, whatever you want. So step one, we are gonna fold our piece of paper in half, hot dog style. So when I'm folding, I take the top part, I fold it over the bottom, and before I squish down, I make sure the edges line up like so. My edges are lined up nice and neatly. And then I hold the paper down with one hand as I squish it down with the other. Okay, so I folded my paper in half. Now we're gonna open it up. So next step, I want us to draw just a line that follows the straight crease down. So just on that crease, draw a light line. Use a pencil, a marker, whatever you want. So now you have a line running down your paper, okay? So the next step is we're gonna take our top corner and we're gonna fold it so it lines up with the center line. Like so, I'm stabilizing it with one hand and I'm squishing it down with the other. Again, this is an example of bilateral coordination. Then I'm gonna take the other corner and I'm gonna fold it down as well so it touches the center line again. That center line, all it is is a visual cue for our kids. Makes it a little easier to fold. Okay, so now we have something that looks just like this. The next step is we are going to fold this side so it again lines up with the center line. So take this whole side and we're gonna line it up. Once it's lined up, we're gonna squish it down. Then we're gonna take this side, we're gonna fold it. Again, we want it to touch this line that goes straight down. So we're gonna fold it. Have it touch the middle. Once it does, we're gonna squish it down. Okay, now we have something that looks like this. The next step is we're gonna fold it in half. So now we have something that looks like this. So we're on our last step. This is probably the trickiest step. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take we're gonna keep it on one side, we're gonna take the top and we're gonna have this part touch the bottom. So I want the top of this wing to touch the bottom right here. I'll show you what I mean. See how it's touching the bottom? See how it's lined up? Now I'm gonna squish it down. So it looks like that. Then I'm gonna do the other side. So I'm taking my wing, taking the top and I want it to touch the bottom. So I'm folding the top. So it lines up and touches the bottom and then I'm squishing it down. And voila, now you grab it in the middle with your pincher fingers, your crab fingers, and you have an awesome paper plane. Nice job guys and I'll see you next time.